The next game I'd like to introduce to you is Ada's Library. And this is a game that where you rearrange your pile of books to match the library. Okay? And so the way the game starts is set up is, is that each player will pull randomly these tiles, these book tiles, and place it on their game rack. Okay? And then these book cards will be laid out on the table in random order. Just random order. And the point is to match the colors of your book tiles to the order of the, of the book cards. Okay? And how do we do that? We do that by each player drawing five cards. Okay? And then on, the, on their turn, on the player's turn, they'll play one card and then draw from the draw pile. Okay? And then their turn will end. They'll apply the effects and then their turn will end. The next player will go on and go on and go on until one person whoever matches the colors first, okay? So now, let me tell you about each card effect and what they do. So first, looking at this card, there's one arrow pointing and a number under it. This card means that you're taking one tile, any tile that you want to select, and moving it over the number of slots according to the number on the card. For example, this one says three. So if I were to play this card, I choose one tile and I'll move it over three slots in any direction that I want. And so let's say I'll choose this one and then move it over three, car three slots. One, two, three. And then so it moves over, okay? The second card looks similar, but now there's two arrows. And what this is, is this is changing those positions. So you go two spots to the left or to the right. So you select a card and then you switch it with the card that is two tiles away. So one, two. So you take these two and you switch. Okay? Okay. And then the next card is there's only an arrow, no number, and so only an arrow. And what this does is you select one tile and you move it all the way to the end of, of your rack. So let's choose this yellow one and move it all the way to the other end. Okay? And then this one has two arrows. The two arrows now means that I switch both cards at the ends with one another. Okay? Okay. Now this next card is really interesting. This next card is attacking your opponent. So let's say that my opponent is right here. And what I'll do is I choose one tile, any tile that I want, to give to my opponent. And so what it's going to do is, let's say I select this one, then I choose the same tile that corresponds. So from my perspective, so this is one, two to the right, one, two to the right, and we switch. Now this is the card that can either obviously help me, but it can also mess up your opponent really well badly. So this is a really fun card to mess around with. Okay? And then lastly is this card. This card has an icon of a book, has an icon of a book and two arrows. So what this is, is now I'm not, I'm not manipulating my pile, but rather I'm manipulating the board, right? And so I can select one book, any book, and move it according to the number that is written. So it's either going to be a one or a two. So let's say I select this one and I can move it, switch it with this book, okay? And so those are the cards and the effects. And the game ends when my tiles match up to this. And so for example, it would look like this. So if, my, if I use the effects of these cards to eventually get my pile to look like this, right? Where the blue matches with the blue, the gray with the gray, the sky blue with the blue, and the yellow, yellow, pink, pink, and brown, brown. Now let's say that I didn't have this pink card and only brown. Then I skip the color that I don't have. But if I do have it, then I match it up, okay? And so that whoever player gets to this position first wins the game. And so, uh, the, reason, the reason why this game is so fun is because it doesn't only require skill or luck, but both skill and luck. Not only do you need the skill to be able to manipulate your tiles well, and also make sure that your opponent doesn't get what he wants, 
but you also need luck in order to draw the cards that you get and also the order of these cards themselves is really important. So it requires a lot of skill and luck and so as long as you have players of similar skill, they'll probably have a lot of fun together, right? So I, I hope and expect that as you learn this game, you play with people who are at the same level and get better and better together and making it more of a challenge. So I hope that you'll enjoy this game and I'm sure that you'll find lots of fun manipulating the tiles as if like clockwork.